we have got Virginia heading to Pittsburgh and the Pitt Panthers. 14 and a half point favorites, total of 66. They're saying that Virginia may not have Brennan Armstrong again. I don't know that I necessarily buy that, and that's really where this line is right now, right? If if Brennan plays, this line is going to drop, and it's going to drop very quickly on Saturday. If he doesn't play, this thing is probably going to shoot up like 17 and a half, 18. Like, it's, it's right in between where we think it probably should be. If he doesn't play, there's just there's no prayer here. If he does play, I actually had this at Virginia uh, plus nine. So, like, I'm going to take my shot. I think he plays because I think they were holding him out of the Notre Dame game for him to play in the ACC games. These are the games that matter. Virginia still has a shot to, to go and represent their division, like in the ACC title game. So I'm I'm going to take the who's here. Pitt is really good, but I think 14 and a half may just be a little bit too much, especially if Brennan Armstrong plays. Uh, I'm a, I'm in complete agreement on that. He I is there any reason for him to not? Do we really think he's that hurt? Uh, it's I think it's just a broken rib thing, so it's mainly like a pain tolerance situation. It's a pain tolerance thing. I'm with you. I'm with you. I think he's going to play, and I'll take Virginia. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, and you're right though. I think if he doesn't, if he doesn't play, that's a loser. I think that's a loser. A hundred percent. I think Pitt will beat them by at least three touchdowns and likely more if uh, if Armstrong doesn't play. Well, um, I think Pitt's going to win the game anyway. Yeah. I, I just I've seen teams hang with Pitt if they can score. Yes, and if Virginia's got him, he can, they should be able to score. Now, now if he plays hurt and Pitt get now they're Pitt's defensive front hasn't been great. They haven't pressured the quarterbacks a lot. But this might be a game where early you send a couple of blitzes you don't normally send trying to get home on one. Maybe you're willing to take a 15-yarder just to, just to get him on the ground one or two times just to see if you hit him good. Does that take him out of the game? Because I'm going to say this. If he comes yeah. out, you know what? No. Give me, I'm, I'm going to go with it. I'm going to go with it. Because I think at any point in time he gets removed from the game, that's not like the last four minutes. I think Pitt can score twice fast. That's okay. that's what scares the hell out of me. If he if he comes out of this game at any point in time and or doesn't play, I love Pitt and I love Pitt in a row. I, that too much volatility going on a guy that's hurt, which I think that guy's special. I think if he plays, they got a chance to win. I don't think they will win, but I think they can. Um, I, I like what you. I'll, I'll take Pitt. I'll go. <laughs> I'll go against you. I'll, I'll, we'll go ahead and on that. Okay. Okay. I like that. You. I so love. I how talk you... myself from one thing into another. <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it. Uh, at the end of the day, that's how you know a guy is fifty and sixty, right there, baby. Yes, yes. Uh, I will tell you this: Virginia on defense, their EPA per play margin on defense is number one twenty-two. So they ain't stopping. Oh no, 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 no. Pitt's going to score whenever they want. I just I've seen Pitt's defense look terrible so many times this year, and I just feel like Virginia will be able to score with them. But that's pending. They've got this one special guy that I think is pretty damn special. I agree with you. I agree. So I'm I'm going to roll Virginia plus the 14 right, and a half, and you're going to roll Pitt minus 14 and a half. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.